Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. For you guys that are new to my channel, just want to welcome you. And uh, today we are going to be taking up Baron. This is Baron right here. Baron is a four year old. Um, he was a stallion until just a few months ago, and we get him castrated, so he's a gelding now. And he is ready to go back to the woods. So to do that, we need to put shoes on. So I'm gonna take Baron this morning up to Eli, our Amish shoer, and he's gonna be putting shoes on. We're also gonna be putting on snow pads, which that's what this is. These are actually used snow pads but that's okay, they can be used for several seasons, which is great. And they have this little bit of a bubble right here that what happens, it's down like this, and when it steps on snow, it pops and kind of pushes the snow out from the shoes so it doesn't ball up. You people that have horses, you know as the horses are running through wet snow, their feet will ball it up with snow. And this eliminates that, or at least helps to eliminate that. It also protects the bottom of the feet during the winter times if they're in terrain that's uh, really tough going. So we just use these during the winter time, but they will go on and he's got brand new shoes that we're gonna be putting on him. We end up buying some number five shoes. Um, my bigger horses use number sixes, but these are gonna be number five shoes that hopefully will fit him just right. So I just gotta finish spreading a little sawdust and then we'll load him up. What I do when I take him, take the guys up to, to Eli's, I will just take him up and drop him off, and then I'll come back a little while later when he's done and pick him up. It's really nice to have somewhere close by that I can do that with, that I don't have to stay there with him the whole time they're doing the shoeing. If I had to stay there right there with him, I might just well be doing it myself, but I can come back and get a lot of work done during that time. When we get back, I would like to put him on the scales again, because the last time we weighed him up, It was the 1st of December, and he only weighed 15.25. That was right after his operation. He lost a lot of weight during that time because he was 16.40 here. And so today, I wanna to put him back on the scales to see what he does weigh to hopefully, hopefully he's up to where should, he should be. He hasn't had his water yet this morning, so I'm sure he'll be thirsty. We have our heater back in our water. And it freaks the horses out quite a bit, so we've been Disconnecting it every time we want to water it, we take it out of the tub. There may be a little bit of a stray voltage problem there, we're not sure, but just to be safe, we just take it out of the tub every time we water our horses. To do one horse like this, um, generally it would take Eli about an hour, probably maybe an hour and a half. Um, he needs to put uh, drill techs on the shoes, unless maybe he's already done that, I'm not sure. But if he has to do that, that adds a little bit more time to the process. Drill techs is just a material that's very hard that they're able to braise onto the shoe 
and it allows them to get a lot more traction. We use it all, especially in the wintertime, but even in the summertime, especially if they're traveling on the blacktop, it just helps protect the shoe and it won't wear the shoe down so much. It just wears the drill text down and it's a lot, lot harder material. But during the winter months, it's just something about it. It just grabs into the snow and ice really, really good. I have three Suffolk Punch horses. Um, this is the oldest one, he's four. And then I have two three-year-olds and they're both, well, they're both half, they're, they're all related. Baron and Earl are full brothers and then Baron and Duke are half brothers. But it's interesting with these Suffolks, the speed that they drink is terribly slow. They come here and they drink and drink and stop and double around and drink some more and you have to be very careful to make sure they get all that they need to drink. Okay, I think that's enough. You ready to go? I would normally put my blankets on my horses when I'm traveling in the wintertime like this. And I probably should have even today for him. But it's only about two miles, three miles up to Eli's. So we'll be there very fast. And this trail is closed in quite well. So I am quite confident he's fine without a blanket. But no, I do. But uh, he hasn't had a blanket on that much. Although he, yes, he has. He's had been blanketed quite a bit. So he's, he's used to the blankets. But uh, I really don't feel... Today is not that cold, and so I'm going to go without the blankets today. We did get a little snow last night. I think we got four or five inches over the night, or yesterday. Okay, so I'm gonna run him up and come back and get some more work done. Okay, we have shoes on Baron. He is ready to go to the woods. So now the next question is, has he gained the weight back that he lost? So let's go get the scales set up and then we'll bring him out and weigh him up and see where he's at. So these are my scales. I don't know if I've ever shown you a close-up of these scales. They are, let me think here, it looks like they're called a ranger scale. And so what we have is this one here goes to the 100s. So, you know, there's, there's uh, 1,400, there's 1,500, there's 1,600 right there. And then over here is the up to 100, so 0 to 100. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping he's weighing close to to what he weighed before. So I'll set it at 1640. And like I said earlier, we lost a lot of weight, but hopefully we're okay. And these scares are such that, you know, if they walk right on them, it's the shakeness to them. That's what it's supposed to be. And of course, they just climb up here and stand and hopefully they'll stand still. They have to stand perfectly still for a second so we can make sure we get the it accurate. If they're moving around a lot, it's very difficult to get them 
to, for us to, to weigh them up. They have to stand really still. So I try to train them so that they come up in there and they're comfortable up there, so they just jump right up there and stand still. And most of my horses do do very well with the scales now that I've weighed them up so much. So let me get Bear and we'll see what he weighs. Of course, I realize there's a slight difference because he does have his shoes on, they have weighed a little bit, but not that much. So we're not gonna worry about that. Oh. Oh. Up, up. Okay. So we got 16, 1650. So that's great. Why don't you write that down, Brenda? So today's the 8th of January. And he's weighing at 1650. So that makes me feel very good about putting him to work because he's gained back his weight that he lost and he should be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. You guys have a great day and we'll see you next time. And tomorrow I hope to be heading to the woods with Baron. <laughs>